Hey guys, Monkey Man here, and today we're going to be doing the first ever global raid event that will be using raid orbs for the uh, battles, and that's such a great, great thing, first of all. So if you see on the screen right now, we've got on the screen four little circles here. We should have five, but we just did the first basic one. I didn't want to, I just wanted to spare you guys that battle. It's pretty average. No one ever cares about the beginner level battles. But yeah, so it recovers every 45 minutes, so every hour you get to do another battle. Really awesome. Uh, means you got to make them really count, though. You can recharge them for 100 lappies. It's worth it if you're trying to get the higher rankings in the raid event. Higher rankings mean more trust moogles and more summon tickets. So it's worth it if you want to pour some lappies into that. But that's not what I'm pouring my lappies into, that's for sure. Because I'm a free-to-play player, and it's all about being smart with your lappies. Now... The event itself comes with uh, the Ifrit Lord of the Inferno, which is the Final Fantasy XIV Ifrit from the Trial Battle. Yes, which is so satisfying to me, especially because I am actually a Final Fantasy XIV player. I love the game. Uh, play it a lot in my downtime. I don't really make much videos on it because, I don't know, I just haven't seen much people want me to make videos on it. But, yeah, I still play it. Or maybe I'll make some more videos later on if I find some time. I'm trying to balance working uni is really hard, but yes. Let's go straight into it. I don't care about these extra little things. That piece aren't really that big a deal for me. What I want to do is win. So that's going to be my best chance. Boom. So it uses one uh, orb for raiding, which means that once you finish this battle, you will not be able to get that orb unless you spend the 100 lapis or wait the 45 minutes. That is good in a way because you can also do some other things with your actual energy, which is like um, you know TM farming or storyline or the events. So you can do events and raid bosses separately, which is cool. And I think it's more fair that way too because no one is um, disadvantaged or advantage on the amount of energy they have in a raid event. Anyone can do well in the raid event and be higher ranked. And we can't have some crazy person go a million points ahead of the other person like we had in the last raid event. Remember Frostal guys? Oh my god. That was a funny event. Well done to the guy who won that event ranking that he, he taught us all this. And let's get into this with straight up damage, bro. Blizzard. Blizzard. Double the blizzard. It's kind of common sense what we'd be, what would be if for it in this situation. But I feel like uh, once I get to light, it's apparently going to get harder there. So right now I'm just having shits and gigs. Booster. Bolden. And then one more. There's a plus. This is going to be horrible. Horrible for this guy. See how much damage we get on him. One, two. That's going to be a chain. Boom. That damage him. See that guy? Yeah, that was pretty good. It's a pretty fun event. I've got my battle effects off at the moment because I'm TM farming, so you won't see the cool flashy effects of Blizzard Fast and stuff. And the battles go faster too, which is, um, I, I don't mind it. If you guys don't like it, just comment below. Put the effects back on, Alex. Don't be a scrub. Uh, and then I'll probably put them back on in my next video. But for now, I'm feeling pretty satisfied with that. Oh, that damage. Plus the event points. There we go, we're at 2,000. Yes! Contributing pretty well. Got some cool stuff out of that too. And some raid coins for the summonings, bruh, yeah! Next up is Pro. Can't wait for that. But first, let's look at this information right here. Individually, I've proven 3,000. I'm ranked 62,000. That's pretty good. That means I'm high up there, bruh. 62,000 is where I want to stay, <laughs> to be honest. Individual rewards, we've got the Ski on Thief's hand gloves. Yeah. That's a recipe, by the way. And um, there's some cool stuff here for the summonable cards. I'm not too excited about anything here except the right down at the bottom. Oh, yeah, boy, I'm going to get there. Maybe not. But I want to get there. I need that trust mix. <laughs> I want that dual wield real bad. But yeah, so, and uh, yeah, let's just see what the summon is like right now. Go to the summon page. First of all, we've got People's Choice Banner, which is premium banner quality. Thank you guys for making the best decisions ever. Noctis, best attacker and versatile unit in the game. Definitely, I voted for him. Thank you guys for voting for him as well. Hopefully, my little brother gets the Noctis he's been dreaming of in the next few days. 
Gilgamesh. Oh, I'm gonna roll for this. I'm trying to roll for it. I need that Genji glove. We got Chizuru. I already got one, Chiz one Chizuru, but I got two Chizurus, but I'm happy to have three Chizurus. You know, Chizuru is Sword Mastery, OP. Good Trust Mastery. Ref, you have best healer in the game. Thank you guys for picking that. Some people don't have a good healer, and that's gonna be a good healer. Cecil. Cecil, Cecil. Excalibur's OP. Zidane. Yes, I need another one of these. I need like 10 of these, bro. I just need dual wield. <sighs> you know what? I'm, I'm excited. I got nine tickets. I'm willing to spend them. I'm willing to spend them. Let's go. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Nine tickets. I still got 10,000 lapis on my other device. Saved up for Orlando, so don't worry about that. We got the elf that is so shit. I don't give a f Not only do we march in Ifrit, but we do some random summons in between. That's how we roll on the Monkey Man channel. Another blue. But if it's Zidane, I can't complain. See that rhyme. Boom. Boom. Okay, that's horrible. But he's got a good Omni Rod Trust Mastery. I can use him. One more. One more, let's go. People's choice. It's another blue. Man, if I can get a gold Genji glove. When you start seeing characters like that, you gotta give up. You gotta give up. I know. That's heavy, boys. That's heavy. I think one more. One more. We know. Who knows? Can't get worse. But if you see Shadow, stop. Ooh. Ooh. Cecil, Cecil, all right, that's good. That's more Excaliburs for me. That's good. That's a that's a banner hero. This is this means good things. This means I could get something maybe. Let's see. Two percent chance of getting a rainbow, and within that, I have a 0.5 percent chance of getting Genji gloves. Come on, come on, Genji glove. Nah, nah, come on, bro. I deserve them. I deserve. Them. Oh, it's a Dane! Yeah, 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 that's a good time, bro. It's good times. <sighs> cool. That's another dual world. That's two Noctuses with two dual worlds. Happy days, bro. Happy days. Yo, that's trash. But letters and arms, trust my. Sounding good. These extra trust moogles are cool. Come on. All the tickets. Take all the tickets. Come on. One more ticket and then a daily summon and then I'm gonna go do the summon for Oh tell her no that's trash. Trash. Come on, improved rates my ass. Let's go baby. Ah This is just trash. These are just trash rolls, bro. These are just Artemis. Let's go daily summon. Maybe we'll get something out of that. Let's go. Let's go bro. Daily summon, please don't fail me. Oh, you failed me, bro. It's alright, I can't complain. I have two Noctuses, but I do want that Genji glove so bad. Save it. Ah, that's trash, bro. That feels horrible. Maybe tomorrow's daily roll will be better. But I got that second Zidane. I'm happy. Final Fantasy 14 raid summon. Yes, so this is where you use your raid coins. I have 300 coins. Imagine I get all three. Let's go. But there's a lot of random stuff you can also get. But I wouldn't mind even one unit at this point. Let's go. For a first summon, let's do this. Here we go. Mmm. Everything except... A featured unit. I can't complain though. I can't complain. Let's get the next march on effort raid battle done and then use that to you know get some more summons on the raid banner so happy people's choice though that's pretty crushing what did i expect though what did i expect <laughs> all right Let's do this. One more battle and then one more raid summon and that's it for the video guys. Thank you guys for joining me by the way. You're all awesome. I don't know if I'll be able to beat this in one shot like last time, but let's go. It's a bit harder at this point. I still, f I haven't got my dual worlds, but now I can get two dual worlds. So I'm pretty happy about that. But I think I can still get through this in one shot. 
At least that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, we focus. Bolden. Triple Noctis and X Def combo. That's okay. So we didn't make it for that one, so we're gonna have to use Ref here to help us out for the next one. Oh, wrong. Kuja. Make that Kuja real quick. I will right, get the provoke down on Cecil so he keeps taking the damage for us. Noctis is gonna get us a. Well, this one will do the link. And. This one will do a wall break. This one will actually do. Blizzard of Flask. And this one will do a wall break. Hopefully, I will get the damage I need. Yo, this one's actually kind of hard. I feel like the next one's gonna 1k me, like one shot me. Right, let's hit again. Managed to scrape through that. Wow. That's got me kind of scared for the next one. Though, of course, the tougher ones you do, the more damage you're going to be doing as a whole. And um, the more you'll be able to help us out as a whole. Because this is a community raid event, so the more damage we do as a whole, the better it's going to be. Alright, let's see what we got. That's a good amount of damage with a lot of event points. 3,000 event points in total. Sweet. I was not able to use a limit burst yet. Soon, maybe. Oh, daily quest. Pull that though. Oh, no choice. All right, so we do have to do the elite one next. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get one shot in this. I don't feel like my chances are too high, but we'll, we'll tempt it. I don't think I've leveled up enough to get through this easily. I'm gonna try the for the stream for my viewers for my fans. And um, let's give it a go, guys. So first off, I'm gonna hit him with Thunder Flash just to as a like a break to magic. Focus. Embolden. I feel like I'm getting wiped. I can feel it. Oh. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit two Blizzards, standard two Blizzards, and then I'm gonna hit him with a Blizzard Flask, and then I'm gonna hit him with another Blizzard Flask. And that should definitely, maybe do it. <laughs> Bro, this light is retardedly hard. <laughs> wow. Nothing can get me through that, breath. <laughs> That's solid. Even with fire resistance. So yeah, so you still get the reward for the damage. But I do, I do a bit more damage in the other battle because I live longer. Yeah. Sweet. The best way to be able to beat the Ifrit at the light level is to apparently bring along a beast killer for extra damage, fire resistance weapon like flame shield and flame mail. Fire resistance buffing like buff fire and buff fire agar, and then paralyzed resistance and items that can cure it. Bushido and freedom, Bushido freedom to get rid of the um, fire resistance debuff. Uh, let's get into the final part. Just one, a few more summons for raid units. Let's try and get. Let's just try and get one unit. Come on. Yo, yes, fan cred. Welcome to the team, bro. Okay, so that's one unit. I'm happy with that. Fan cred, and then we got the Trust Mastery for Hydaelyn Guard and Shard of Dreadiness, which is awesome. And we got some of these materials. Yes. That's exciting. So we got one of the units. Not the strongest unit, the five star unit. We will, we want Yishitola. Um, Minifila, not too important to us, but Yishitola going to be pretty good as another healer unit, especially, uh, I wish I showed you more about the banner, but definitely a good unit to have. If you haven't already got Refia, Yishitolo can do so much for your team. 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been Monkey Man. If you liked the video, please thumbs it up. If you want to see more of my video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'll be making more Final Fantasy XVS videos. I'm trying to focus on getting a lot of my trust farming done so that way I have my Noctis being OP for you guys. If you want to add me in game, my uh, digits are there on the right side of the screen uh, next to the Noctis picture. And I'll try and uh, add everyone I can. I do filter through my ads every month and try to delete some people from my friends list. Uh, unless I've added you on my Facebook friends list, then it's completely different. It's just Facebook friends, bro. And uh, yeah, so. Hopefully I get that Noctis beefed up for you guys so you can enjoy some awesome gaming um, carrying, I guess, from me, which is awesome. People's Choice banner, really worth rolling for, guys. Definitely <laughs> go for it if you can. I'll probably roll on it a few more times. 100% sure. I'm definitely going to do every daily summon I can. For the next five days or so. So, okay, guys, I'll see you guys later. This is me, Monkey Man. Thank you for watching my video. And see you guys in the next vid.